casket makes its entry into the St. Peter's Anglican Church in Bayoso State for a commendation service in honor of one of Nigeria's illustrious sons, Oruntu Douglas. Also a commendation service attended by President Goodluck Jonathan, who he served as the special advisor. Also present were the Bayoso State Governor, some members of the Federal Executive Council, and other big wigs drawn from far and near. As we are mourning, the preacher identified death as man's last enemy. He said that Nigerians may be sorrowing over the death of Oronto Douglas, but there is hope for those who died in the Lord. Apart from Enoch and Elijah in the Bible, every other person that went to God passed through what? Physical death. For the president, Oronto was a dependable ally who would be missed at all times. Toronto is somebody who is so dedicated to his service, totally committed. If he believes in you, he will never betray you. He will stand by you to the end. Even if you are dying, Toronto will want to die with you. In politics, most people will be with you when things are okay. Yes. But immediately you win turn, they will disappear. But Toronto is not that kind of a character. <laughs> totally committed. I've worked with him as a deputy governor when he was a commissioner. He's been with me for eight years in Abuja. So I'm one of those who can clearly attest to the qualities of Toronto. Toronto was so committed about documenting all my activities. I am the most documented president for now because of Toronto. The governor of Bayoso State says Oronto left at the wrong time. He takes so less in the fact that Oronto left some legacies that should not be left to die. Let me say that the government of Bayoso State will discuss with Madam, our sister, and see what role we will play concerning the educational and other needs of the two children they have left behind up to university level. It's a token of our appreciation. As part of the tributes, children from the E.K. Clark Preparatory School founded by Douglas Oronto made a presentation in honor of their founder, while one of his sons, Oge Oronto Douglas, also said a few words about his dad, promising to carry the name forward. First of all, I know he was not violent. I know he was not tribalistic. I know he loved his nation and he was a good patriot of his nation. And as his son, I shall carry the name forward. Douglas Oronto was a foremost environmental activist, renowned for his intellectual articulation of the Niger Delta struggle. He died on April 9, four months to his 49th birthday. Chukuma Onrekusi, Channels Television News.